How's it going guys? My name is Splattercat and welcome to the next episode of our Don't Starve LP. You'll notice that I have a conspicuously empty inventory. That's right, today we're going on a bit of an adventure. So I've got a bit of food right here on the left. I've got enough supplies to make it pretty deep out into the wilderness. We're going to head north and see where it leads us. Now, we need to go out and we need to find some parts for some of the other things that we can build and what I mean by that is we need to ooh some rot I'll take that too we'll take the rot we will take the rot we won't turn oh no they're in heat right now okay so we're gonna try and stick to the roads we're gonna try and stay away from the beefaloes because they're not our friends right now they are busy getting it on so really what I'm interested in finding right now is we need to go find some marble and we need to go find actually do I need a hammer for marble I may need a hammer I may eh, swift detour let's go back adventure is no longer out there it's behind us we need to go find ourselves a hammer I've never prototyped a hammer so far so I think that might actually be a bit of a downer so hold on adventure on hold game off let's see here and we got some pumpkins and things growing god it's so eventful right now so let's get two ropes made there we are and so we've got our two ropes and we need some rocks because apparently we make hammers out of rocks I don't know let's see and then we'll go back over here to the tools menu and we'll get a hammer ready for the road let's see just hammer that out real quick <laughs> and then we'll go back over here and put the rocks back in you'll see that this has become the box of the bunny the box del bunnies so far we're gonna put all our moldy stuff in there with them too because they deserve it let's see I might as well eh, let's put the seeds in there it'll be fine it'll be fine so let's grab the berries off the bush here real fast. All right, so now, adventure is out there. We're headed back out again, and let's head north. Oh, good, it's gonna rain. Lovely. Just what we needed. A nice little bit of soft weather. Just to brighten our mood, just to make things better. I actually, I really enjoy rain in real life. Rain is my favorite thing, but you know why? It's kind of like a half acid. It's a very selfish kind of it's a very selfish enjoyment of rain I like rain because when I was a kid my parents used to like make me go outside and play how dare they and so all that physical activity I'd be like Nyeh. and so whenever it would rain I wouldn't have to go outside and I could stay inside and play Nintendo all day and so that is why to this day every time I smell rain I get nostalgic or every time I have rain like rainy weather like that really soft kind of misty rain not necessarily the torrential downpour like that hellish kind of it actually feels like BBs hitting you in the side of the head Oh no, if this island runs out without a bridge, that's going to be really, really disappointing. So hopefully that doesn't happen, because if we ran all the way up and around here while discussing the rain, it's going to be incredibly disappointing. Now I'm going to grab the grass while I'm out and about, and this rain is pretty intense. Luckily we're a robot, so what do we care, aside from rust, but hopefully we're made out of something that doesn't corrode. That would seem like the most efficient material to make a robot out of. That or, you know, something that at least is unaffected by rain and it looks like we may have a path over here to the left there's gonna be a pretty high level spider den oh no don't no beefalo friend God, sneak around all these bugs there's gonna be a pretty high level oh it's only level two it's okay I was worried for a moment that there would be some high level spiders over here but alas well not necessarily I guess to the benefit uh, to the benefit of our adventures they are not high level and actually, it looks like there's no crossing bridge here, which is going to be a little disappointing. We may have to go track down a wormhole, so let's head back. Actually, hunting a... This might be in our best interest. Let's do this. Let's hunt a koalephant for now. And so once we find him, we shall stab him mightily. We also need to go find some pigmen. We've got about eight days left before we lose our... Hey, none of that, you. None of that. I know, you're the big guy. You're the boss, hey? Be good. I'll, I will pet you and brush you if you'll be kind to me. I will treat you as though you... Hey, what is this morsel? All right, free food. And so I don't see where the other footprint is. Maybe it's pretty far out. I don't know. Footprint? Koalephant. Nothing? Well, damn. I guess that puts a damper. Maybe I just followed that in the completely wrong direction. I mean, it could be one or the other. I could have completely screwed up right there. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention too well. There's some more mold over there, some rot. I th did they change the name of that? No, it was it was it was rot before. We're not even gonna waste our time. Ooh, berry bushes. Okay, we're gonna waste our time for just a second, just a minute. We'll eat those to top off, and then let's head to the east, I guess, since the south was less than providing. Although it looks like we may have a little bridge right there that leads up and in somewhere. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that and see if we can find the Maxwell portal or anything of the sort. 
If we can track that down, it's going to make our life a little bit easier because it is going to supply us with gears. It's going to supply us with some of the shadow fuel that we need without forcing us to go insane, which if you watched my last Let's Play, going insane did not work out so well for me. In fact, it worked out very negatively for me. It had no bearing whatsoever on my happiness besides dragging it downwards. It was definitely a downer. It killed us off very, very early. It was actually kind of embarrassing, too. I don't think I've died before, like, 50 days in forever. We're going to play around with adventure mode, I think, a little bit, but I don't really know what to expect from adventure mode. I don't really know what Cly or Clay Entertainment has for us, and I just called them Cly again. I always do that. Since the dawn of my Let's Plays, not necessarily the dawn of time, but since the dawn of my Let's Plays, I've been calling them that, and unfortunately, I found out I was mispronouncing it the other day. I heard it like a developer log or something of that nature where they pronounced it, and I was like, well, damn. Now I look like a jackass for like the last 600 episodes. What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? So let's follow this up here because we know that it goes this way. We may also find some tall birds over here, which might be interesting. I haven't fought a tall bird in a while. And we could use a reasonable meat supply, so maybe knocking off some tall birds is in our future. And also stealing their children, because I've always wanted to have a horde of small birds, so... If we do find them, I, I'm interested in finding a couple dozen of their eggs and then hatching them all at the same time and then running around like crazy. And they do grow up and try and protect you after a while, at least until they get old. It's kind of like I had pet squirrels when I was growing up, and they were the same way. Like, they were cool when they were little, and then once they got big, they got kind of vicious and they turned on you. They're treacherous little buggers. They were prone to the treachery. And so, anything up here? Anything? Well, rabbit holes. That's, I guess, a little bit better than nothing. This biome over here is just going crazy. It's got, like, this weird Neapolitan-type thing going on, and now I'm making myself hungry. I love Neapolitan ice cream. You guys should, too, especially, the, although I find myself favoring the strawberry part. Whenever I eat it, that's just one thing that I've noticed, is whenever I eat Neapolitan ice cream, I always eat the strawberry first. I have no clue why. I don't even think I enjoy strawberry ice cream that much. I just end up eating it first for some reason. Which leads me to believe maybe I do like it, and I'm just like in some strange form of ice cream denial. I don't know. And so it looks like we have a little bit of swamp over here. Can we trigger any tentacles? Oh no! And so let's hit nighttime. There we go. And so we've got nighttime now. The nights are still pretty short, so I think we've got a reasonable amount of time before winter shows up. But I owe you a question of the evening. So my question of the evening is your favorite video game antagonist your favorite video game bad guy now for me that's a tough call that's a really tough call for me i can think of very few bad guys that i actually related i mean the stereotypical thing to say right now would be like hurt sephiroth <laughs> that would be the stereo that's like the initial thing that my brain runs to because he was such a well-crafted bad guy like as you came into the storyline you're like he's crazy for a reason he like lost his damn mind for a reason but I mean, it's tough. It's really tough. I, I automatically default back to the bad guys of old, and it's it's really, it's difficult. I'd say maybe Kefka, Sephiroth, I mean, and it's weird because I don't play that many Japanese games. I really don't, but when I think of well-fleshed out bad guys, those are just the ones that come to mind. So, it is what it is. There it is. Put your favorite bad guy from a video game down in the comments below, and we will discuss it. And it looks like, ooh, we got a pigman hut down here? All right. Sorry, bud. Hammering away. It's hammer time. And so let me rotate my camera. And unfortunately, I don't have any way to carry all these all these goodies. Unfortunately. Oh, there's another pig skin. I almost walked off without it. Unfortunate. And so the ultimate goal of this was to find as many treasury objects as we can before we head back to camp. And it looks like we've got a pretty sizable region around here. I don't know why they're so antisocial. I... You know, you'd think living it like as a piggy hermit out in the middle of nowhere, he would be more inclined to be friendly towards his visitors. I mean, I get lonely whenever I live by myself. Like, I live by myself for a while, and I can tell you, it is no fun. I mean, sometimes you like the solitude. Like, after you have, like, a roommate that you dislike for a while, one of those roommates that could, like, straighten your hairs just with the obnoxious things that they do. But, you know, for the most part, living by yourself is kind of, eh, it kind of sucks. Although, it's nice to have your space every now and again. So, I guess it's a double-edged sword. This island, hopefully it goes on forever, or at least we find a wormhole. That would be incredible if we find a wormhole back in here. I don't really know what's going on with the biome planner right now. The dungeon master, as I'm inclined to call it, or whatever you want to call it, is definitely making some weird mixtures of biomes at the moment. So hopefully we can find some interesting things. I didn't want to spend a whole episode running around. I was hoping by this point we would come across one of the Maxwell portal parts, start putting that stuff together and figuring out... 
what's going on with adventure mode, figuring out what's going on with those crazy little chess piece horse things. We also need some gears. That's really the ulterior motive here is we also need gears in order to build ourselves a ice box, which is the thing that we are lacking at the moment. So let's take a final look around, and if this ends, it's going to be very, very disappointing. We didn't make a huge world. I tried to avoid that when generating this map because I had played around. I had tested for a little bit with the huge map sizes, but it was just too enormous. There was really no way to find anything in an efficient manner for a Let's Play, so I decided to veto that idea and go back. That'd be kind of funny if there was just like a tentacle hanging out in that little area. I would actually probably kite him and kill him, see if I could get myself a tentacle spike. Or some tentacle spots. Make ourselves... I don't think the Dapper Vest uses tentacle spikes. I think it uses... Eh, I don't really remember. I don't really remember the materials for the tentacle spike, but it looks like this day is turning into a Wash, which is very, very disappointing. Although Wash is my favorite character from Firefly, so I don't really want to use that term too much because I feel like I'm denigrating one of my favorite characters. We've got a separate Pigman over here. Pigman, I guess. He is quite singular. And I guess I'll smack him in the face. What are you doing, pig man? Let me hit you. Ow! How dare you punch me? How dare you defend yourself, sir? How dare you? Have at thee! From hell's heart I strike at thee. Ow! And so, let me see if I can take him out. I know that it's a pretty big karmic backlash for killing them. I know that for a fact, is when you kill pig man, you actually get like 10 points of badness, which may make Krampus show up. I thought I heard the telltale say, hey, wormhole. Well, what else could go wrong? Let's jump down it. And we'll see where this pops us out. Hopefully it pops us out in a location that's safe at the bare minimum. Ooh. My inputs are full of slime. That can be interpreted a number of ways, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. There are a lot of different things that could be considered inputs. And so I'm just going <laughs> to... I'm going to let those cards fall where they may. and let th I'm going to leave it open to interpretation now. Where in the hell are we? Oh, we're way to the south. Okay, so that's what I like to do. If you're ever jumping through wormholes and you get yourself a little lost, it can't hurt just to open the map up and give it a little swivel and see where you pop out and just see just where it landed you. Now, we may be outside of the range of our home. This may not actually be continuous. We may not actually be able to make it back to our base from here, so let's have ourselves a little look-see. What was that noise? I thought I heard like a clip cloppy noise. And so we've got another wormhole over here. So let me see. I wish you could mark your map because we know now that that pops you out way down here. What would be really swell. Is that the same one? That's the same one. I almost lost track of where I was. I'm just being hilly. So let me. Ooh, there's a spider den. Okay. I don't really want to go to war with any spiders right now. We do have enough like durability left in our log vest to where it's not too dangerous. I'm going to pick some flowers to get my sanity back. Why picking flowers brings back your sanity? Oh, a walrus camp. Okay. So we know where not to be once winter comes around. I don't know what you guys' experience is with Angus McWalrus thus far, but my experience with him is that he is a game ender. He is just a nasty walrusy bastard who likes to shoot you even though you're off the screen and just like nail you with darts everywhere you go. I don't see any frogs down here. I am going to take this carrot so that we can quench our hunger. I know you normally you don't quench your hunger because I guess quenching comes from like dipping... I, I would assume... Well, I don't know if what came first. Calling like quenching your thirst or quenching steel. I don't know if one came from the other... I'm not going to think about it. I'm not going to think about it. I want to get myself locked into some weird logical regress and just kind of fall over drooling while I'm recording an episode for you guys. So I'm just going to ignore it and move forward. Do flowers do anything? Oh, they give you health back now. I don't remember that ever happening before. I should probably pick some more flowers too. Our sanity, okay, so our sanity is a little bit less than I would like it to be. And so we'll get some swings off here, just get our timing going. See if we can get ourselves a nice shiny new tentacle spike before the evening comes because I would like to get at least something out of this ordeal. And I can't really tell if that other one's coming towards me. God. I don't know if these things got buffed. It seems like they take more hits now. They definitely are taking a bit more abuse than I remember, as I recall. Oh, God. Okay, so let's bait him back out again. I had a malfunction there. Come on. You can do it, Tentacle. If you don't come out, I will bait you. There we go. And we got a Tentacle Spike on our first go, so that's a bonus. That actually kind of... 
eliminates the need for other things. <laughs> Stale food is just as good. Indeed. As a, actually, I don't think I've ever tasted a food. <laughs> as I said, indeed, that kind of just popped out. I don't think I've ever tasted a food that was as equally good stale. I guess popcorn's okay stale. That's kind of a weird desire, but popcorn's all right. I mean, it, it, it gets kind of soggy, but it's still edible. Everything else, though, kind of... Hey, there we go. We found a Maxwell portal, and we also found some evil flowers. Now, I think you lose sanity for picking these in general. Yeah, so we're going to have to be careful with our pickage here. And we are going to take the crank thing. And what can I get rid of here? Ooh, and we got a spider nest over there. That's a little disappointing. So we are going to have to spend the night near to some spiders. And I may actually sleep through this eve just to get our sanity back after picking all this. And so we'll put that right there. And I may not have actually... Can you make a bedroll without prototyping it? You cannot. So unfortunately, we are going to have to spend the evening here without it. But I am going to... Let's cook that carrot to make space for the crank. Oh good, and we're hallucinating. There's a free axe over there, which is a little tempting. And there's also a pig house, but I'm gonna wait till morning to knock that thing over. Oh good, mosquitoes. Let me get my... Well, we'll destroy the spear first. Come here, mosquito. You don't know me. You don't want to roll up in here, mosquito. Oh, he's pretty quick. Maybe he does. He's more talented at fighting. <laughs> His mosquito foo is strong. Where'd he go? Well... And like that, he left. He left as quickly as he came. Blood-sucking little bastard. Eat those seeds real fast. And unfortunately, I'm actually, I'm really glad that nights are going a little bit quicker. I don't really know how a robot loses his sanity, but apparently he does. We need to stay out of this region over here because there's spiders about. And they might be a little... Oh, God. He scared me there for a second. Actually, made me jump. So we'll pick that last one right there. We'll hammer this out. And then what we're going to be forced to do is, I think, beat a hasty retreat. So we're going to be on the lam, and we're going to head back to our camp now, because it seems like we've gotten... Well, we found a crank thing, and so I'm going to look at my map real fast and just kind of mentally note where we popped out here. And so I don't know if I should... Let's head to the southwest, see if we can walk it. And if we end up in a dead end, and those things are nasty. Those things are what ended my last game, so hopefully we don't run into any of those shadow ladybug things. They are the most vicious and unfriendly ladybugs I have ever met. Although I have no way of knowing, really, if ladybugs have ever been friendly. Maybe they're totally pissed off and completely profane about the fact that I've picked them up in the past. Oh, and what is this? A touchstone. What the hell is a touchstone? Let's touch it! Touch is in the name! It can't be bad. Okay. So, I don't even know what that means. Pig's head on a stick, indeed. It's getting a little Lord of the Flies-ish up in here. I, don't know, I think I'm going to leave. I don't really trust this. I don't trust this. Oh, good. The hairs have turned into beardlings. And on the plus side, that means that I can very possibly get sidetracked picking up all this food. And also, no, don't drop the carrot. Eat the carrot. There we go. I could have right-clicked it. I know. I know, guys. I could have right-clicked it. I choose not to. I choose not to because I like to do things the complicated way. Just make it more difficult. Because that's how I like to treat myself. I, I'm unkind. And we're actually going to pick up as many flowers as possible. Actually, don't. didn't these restore my sanity when I ate them or was it my health? It was my health. Okay, so let's pick some flowers. There we go. Just pick a couple of these because our brain is looking quite... It's looking quite addled. It's looking quite destroyed. Be nice, bee. Do not attack me. And we also are missing a little bit of health, so it can't hurt to devour some flowers. At least a few an hour. There we go. And so that's going to help us out a little bit. Keep those nasty little shadow monsters at bay. I am going to try and distill these into shadow fuel, which we're not going to get very much, as I recall. Shadow fuel is going to be used for a number of magical objects. I don't think we have enough darkened flowers to actually make 100% use of them yet. But for the time being, we'll be able to get a couple fuel out of it. So why not? Why not? And let's make our way... Yeah, just keep going southwest. Maybe this whole thing will turn into an enormous kind of connector for us, which would be the best possible thing to happen at this point. Oh, look, more. And so now I'm faced with the temptation of just annihilating my sanity. Let's do it. Let's live on the edge a little bit. Ooh, okay, we're going really, really insane. So let's pick these flowers. I'm having to balance this out here. God grab these ones over here but I do want as many of these as I can carry because shadow fuel is going to be really useful to us so 
let's see if we can fuel ourselves with the shadows by eating as many flowers as possible right now to keep ourselves sane, but also enabling us to pick as many as possible. Any other flowers around here? Ugh, I feel as though we have completely removed the flower population at this point. We may have been kind of a biological detriment. The ecosystem may be irreparably damaged by our presence. It's okay, we're a robot. We don't care about that sort of thing anyways. Now... And we also have to make space to carry another piece of the Maxwell portal. That's another thing that I wasn't thinking about. Grab that. And that. And just leaving these flowers everywhere. It's kind of wasteful. And going back now, where was that? Oh no, did I get lost? If I lost that Maxwell piece, it's going to be a little disappointing. God. <laughs> well, I, I, well, let's follow the, we'll follow the trail of picked bushes and maybe we'll hit it. God, okay, there's picked bushes over there, there's picked bushes over there. Ugh. There's still flowers over there, so we know we didn't pick those. God. Whatever, I'm not going to run around in circles forever. I'll come back and look for it off camera. There it is! There's the collar thing. Got it. So let's pick the remainder of these, and hopefully we don't go too batshit nutty. Nah, we're still fine. We're still fine. We got 75. If we could grade our sanity on numbers alone, they're giving us a 75. A 75 is like a C. It's not a C plus, but it's not a C minus either, so I'm inclined to stick with it. And it looks like we are going to luck out and have this connect. So as I head back to camp for the remainder of this episode, I want to thank you guys for joining me here at the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat. If you're new and this is the first time you're viewing one of my videos, if you're one of the old timers who comes around every single time, I want to thank you as well. And I'm looking forward to spending time with you next time you come to visit the channel. All that out of the way, you know my spiel from here. Take care, everybody, and I will see you next time.